So hello everybody and welcome back to my Outer Wilds playthrough where yesterday I don't exactly remember what I did but I do remember do remember that I left everything um, in the ship like as unread so I can read what I found out and remember what I did. I think I'm just gonna keep that up. It's a, it's a good refresher every time you get into the game. Hey, the Phantom Moon is currently here. Oh, I wonder what that is and where it's going. Okay, let's put on the suit. And, okay, yeah, we were at the high energy lab. And we apparently found everything there, which is good. Um, the, the Nomai successfully reproduced uh, a temporal anomaly which first observed at the Whitehall station. Warped objects appear to arrive before they depart. The Nomai discovered they could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure by adding energy to the warp course. The Nomai wanted to know if a 22 minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it would require new technology to produce the necessary energy as well as advanced warp core as an advanced warp core to handle those energies. Ash Twins was proposed as a location for the project. Ash Twins tower designs. Designs for each of the towers on Ash Twins equator. Each tower warps to a different planet. Each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp destination. The towers allowed the Nomai to quickly travel between Ash Twin and all other locations. <laughs> crucial to the Ash Twin project. Okay. The Nomai planned to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. And did we find anything else? No, it doesn't seem so. Okay, so there's more to explore in the Ash Twin Towers. Hmm. But I kind of see something. Uh, I'm gonna go, oops. I'm gonna go find out what was weird with the Nomai shuttle because I'm very interested in that. And I kind of feel like I'm using shuttle wrong, maybe. No, oh, not the other one. Wait, there's the sun station. Let's see if we can get to it. Without dying, preferably. Can't lock onto it, unfortunately. It's really hard to get to, okay. Like that requires a higher skill in flying than I do now, than I have now. It's also incredibly fast. Yeah, I can't even keep up with it. Okay, whatever. I didn't want to go there anyways, no. 
Wait, why is the frozen? Oh, it's it's on the interloper currently. Guess we don't need to recall it then. No, let's not let the let's not let the autopilot kill us again. We're crashing into Dark Bramble. I don't know, maybe I need to be at uh, land on the interloper to see. So the one guy in the shuttle basically just waited his, for his friends and died, as far as I understand it. Please don't kill me. No, it's not gonna kill me, okay. Well, Mr. Interloper. Just land here. That was a very smooth landing. And I've not. I'm not. Like something is happening. Oh, we are very close to the sun. Hello, Miss. Oh, no, no, no. The sun has more. Oh, God. The sun has more gravity. Ow. This interloper hasn't been very nice to me. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, God. It's very difficult. Did, did I lose my ship? Oh my god, I can barely stay on the interloper. It's also extremely slippery here. Let's just go to the Noi shuttle, I guess. It's not like I have much of a choice. Goodbye, ship. It's been real. This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay in the, uh, on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, it, uh, couldn't someone call it back home uh, to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Oh, that's how they died. Uh, Pi, yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Um, Clary, suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. Okay. Ship is still somewhere close to this thing. Okay, so I can't get into the shuttle. That means basically... Oh, hello ship. How nice of you to join me. I'm really certain. Okay, so I think... I think I want to get back to the ship so I have a way of getting out of here. And I'm gonna explore this thing with the ship. Maybe. Maybe it'll stay here. It's, it's um, conveniently close to the shuttle. Come on, please. Okay, let's just refill everything. Okay, let's... Okay, so the question is, where did they go? Because we can recall, recall the shuttle. But... If we do that... Uh, 
Um, okay, so apparently they found a crack somewhere where they got it, and I remember now. It's cool that they just have an ice skating mechanic in this game. Like out of nowhere, there's always new stuff to find in this game, and they have so much cool stuff. I feel like it's probably gonna be at the North Pole or at the South Pole. So I can easily find it. Oh, I shouldn't mess with that because the comet has very little, very, very little gravity. Okay, so I assume it's gonna be at the South Pole. Yeah. Well, I'm, out. I'm close to my ship, so I can just check. Why is my ship not freezing in place? Uh, probably because it's still warm. Okay. Okay, so I found everything. Uh, I found the Nomai shuttle almost completely er encased in ice. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Nomai landed on the interloper not long after it arrived in the solar system. The shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. There were three Nomai aboard the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm while the other two explored the interloper. Clary, the Nomai who stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended down into the interloper's surface. Uh, the shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Two of the Nomai located a fissure in the ice on the interloper's sunward side. They descended inside to investigate. Gravity cannon. A huge cylindrical structure that generates a strong upwards gravity drift. Okay. Sunward side. Apparently there is a sunward side to this thing. It's interesting. Hello. White wall. So this is probably this one. Fissure in the ice. Do I have to be close to the sun for this to appear? I hope not, because the sun is not good. Sun is scary when you have such little, so little uh, gravity to work with. So like we're gonna get close to the sun sooner, should we? Definitely on the sunward side. So where is the fissure? Oh, we're close to something. Else. Guess I could just Oh, there's no signal here for me to detect.
think I need to get some more fuel. And I think it would be easiest just to use the ship. But I probably have to wait until I'm gone around the sun. Okay, let's just use this to search for the fissure in the ice. Oh god, we're definitely run going towards the sun. I feel like this is the sunward side. Can't see a fissure at all. How do I get in there? Am I blind? Okay, so the front of the the front of the thing is always facing the sun. I think that's that's good. Perfectly parked. There's no other landing gear. Perfect. Okay, so the front of the comet is always facing towards the sun. Means that means that the fissure has to be somewhere in here. I've already explored all of those little crevices. Hmm. I don't know. Where's the sun? This is the sun, and I'm pretty much as close as I can get to it. Yeah, I've explored all of those things. I don't know. I may be stupid. Feel like maybe I need to do something to get to the fissure. Yeah, I need to be called a shuttle. Maybe recalling the shuttle will rip a hole into the... I don't think so, actually. I don't think it will do much, but I don't know. Maybe the hole closed up? I don't know. Maybe it's only open if you're really close to the sun. That'd be really difficult. Yeah, I guess I don't know. Is 
I feel like they wouldn't tell me where the hole was if there's no way of getting in. Hmm. But maybe this uh, thing is here to tell me where the shuttle would be if I hadn't recalled it. I guess we can try to wait for the for another for getting close to the sun. There if we can actually get close to the I don't think we can get close to the sun anymore because the twenty two minutes are almost up. And I did spend a bunch of time at the beginning just reading stuff. Oh, white hole station. Yeah, I don't know. It is interesting. Guess next cycle I can recall the shuttle and see see what happens. What changes? Because I definitely can't seem to find the fissure anywhere. The thing is, if you get too close to the sun, it's just incredibly difficult to do anything. Walk. That bramble looks really gnarly. Ouch. Oh, hello, my friend. Are you gonna eat me? I wish you wouldn't. I did. That's not good. <laughs> well. Okay, so I guess if I'm ever going to Dark Bramble, I need to avoid the lights. <laughs> 